as an adventure. You find yourself tired and weary, and you must find your way into a tavern. In this nearby city, you enter, you find a tavern. It's a very big one. And then you decide to walk in. Da, 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 da. You are greeted by a massive warm fire that can be used to cook meat and other stuff. And there are many strange denizens. Lizard folk, what are they doing here? Minotaurs in the back, what are they doing here? Vampires, why are they here? The Rakshasa in that corner. The other side you see, well, soldiers, soldiers of the city seem to be conversing with a tiefling warrior. And then hunters enjoying probably a meal. Can't really, I mean, there's nothing on there. Oh, and then a pirate lord named Azrael Malak enjoying a meal and some drinks with his first mate, Monsoon. Oh, and then Archon the Cruel is there with his old turtle buddy named Cruel or Crawl. And right there, that is Skaver Wakebeard, dwarfish war hero from my homebrew D&D world, like where most of these characters are. Oh, and then some adventurers kind of discussing what they will do next. Oh, and troglodytes. For some reason, they were allowed to rent a room. Oh, and one thing you might have noticed is the tables and other such things are all made from Legos, except for the fire. The fire there is made from little fire pieces. Let me show you. These little things, you can buy them on Amazon. They're, they're real small. Oh, and then in the middle of it, I have this, which is just, uh, it's kind of like a campfire thing. I actually got it from a set of magic spell effects. That is the bonfire spell effect. Those came with a bunch of these things. I can leave a link to that in the description you get is one. Maybe I will. But yeah, this is this is a bunch of tables made from Legos. Let me uh, set this thing up a little bit closer. Right over here. So clearly you can see these pieces. I don't really know. I don't remember any of the Lego terms, but essentially they're just made from those tiny little things put on little stands to kind of give it some balance and placed right in the middle. Yeah. And you can set it up and it makes for a pretty good table. And if I do say so myself, which I do of course. Oh and then back over here. These little things are like they're a bit smaller so these obviously don't work real well as tables they could work pretty decently as benches or countertops for like the bar itself obviously there are no like chairs or anything i don't have room well i don't have anything to use as chairs right the mo right now at the moment and then those little things make really good round tables you got those little things now also you might notice let me put this down real quick some of them would have like an extra thing on the tiny thing that holds them up. That kind of gives it an extra bit of height that makes it work a little bit better with the D&D miniature style and their size and everything. It doesn't really work that well for minotaurs. Just ignore them. They're having a good meal. Just hope they don't smell the cow being cooked in the kitchen. By the way, that is a kitchen right there. Uh, where that mechanical pencil is, that would be where in this tavern it leads into their cellar. Oh uh, yeah, here's a bunch of other things. I put um, two of these things together, as you can see, to create the place with all the drinks. Could double that for a potion venue, or whatever. Because who knows, maybe those are little spell potions, or not spell uh, healing potions. Maybe that's a mana potion. Maybe that's poison. I don't know what that is. That's some kind of weird green drink. Yeah, it should. This honestly is going to be a relatively short video. I do not remember exactly what sets I got each of these pieces from. They're just kind of a collection. Because one day I was just sitting around thinking, man, I really wish I had some tables and stuff for a, a tavern. 
in my D&D &D games. And then I was like, wait a minute. I could just make them out of Legos. And so I did. Oh, and of course, the Jenga pieces from my last video. Building the other parts of the tavern itself. Give you a more bird's eye view here. Boom. I messed that up, but that's okay. Just ignore that. And of course, those stairs leading up to where their rooms would be. I would imagine, like around here, there would be like the rooms on the second floor, then the little balcony where they can look off into this area. Perhaps. Undecided on that right now, but it doesn't matter. Sometimes there can be crazy things happening outside, like you might have noticed two rock monsters bullying a rat ogre. Oh, and watch out for the giant cat. Yeah. Though, the city has defense against giant cats. It's called water bottles. She's not allowed to. It's Muffin. She's not allowed to be on the table right now. Sometimes she's allowed up here. Oh, yeah, and you might notice some of these miniatures are honestly, like, obviously, like, the Archon the Cruel. That's a pre-painted mini. But some here are not pre-painted. I actually got some I'm working on right now. Like this guy. If you could get a better focus. I'm using my iPad. Focus ain't that great. But uh, yeah, maybe I'll get something better one day. I'm kind of working on painting him. I've already painted this guy. A human paladin named Kevin Kev Kevinson. He's a paladin of Christ because he's a man of God. Yeah. I'm a Christian man, so my biases will say that that is the most overpowered version of a paladin. Taking a vote, the oath to spread the word of God, like a true Chad. He screams Deus Volt all the time. Oh, right, these guys. Just to point them out for fun, these are actually soldiers of Rohan. Uh, Ro Rohan. <coughs> Excuse me. Sometimes I can't speak good, but uh, yeah, if only, if only you could like. Focus on them better. There we go. All I had to do was tap the screen. But yeah, I painted these guys, and I have the Riders of Rohan as well. I got it from the the original box, the, the box set of Battle of Pelennor Fields. I got it. over there. You might see the Witch King of Agmar up there next to a bunch of other books, my D and D collection, and some Magic the Gathering stuff. A bunch of fun games. If you can't tell, I like fantasy stuff. And if anyone's interested, I can show you guys the finished product of my painted miniatures. That's the set that I'm going to be painting relatively soon. A few of them pretty well done. Oh yeah, that's milk going with my lunch. Good stuff, just bought that today. But yeah, that's, uh, that's about it. You know, some, I know one person specifically I met was interested in this stuff, and I think maybe some other people were relatively interested as well. So, yeah, just kind of showcasing what D&D &D tables look like when they're made of Legos. And honestly, like, the brown ones, I much prefer that color. I mean, black can work too. That, I mean, the gray one, that could be like a stone table of sorts. White. Maybe, maybe you're in white stone in Exandria. I don't know, having a white stone table. Yellow, I can't exactly. I can't. I can't justify why it's yellow. And I guess I could paint it, but I. I don't. Uh, I guess I have no excuse. I'm painting miniatures over there, but I don't really want to. At least not right now. Oh yeah, these are things I've painted as well. Look at him. He's got a dinosaur in him. Oh, and this guy. Oh, look, I, I painted like little bits of green. Now that that I guess right there could be like blood on his claw there, but he's got like little bits of poison in his fangs and his claws, and around his bones sticking out there. And this guy came from shoot, what was it called? Rune Wars, I think. Uh, I'll, I'll I'll put a comment with what it's actually called later down in the line when I actually post this video. But yeah, I got this guy. 
the 4R and the Magical Rock Dude. Pretty, a pretty solid mini if I do say so myself. Oh yeah, these guys are from that same set that he's from. But I painted them red to fit my homebrew world's uh, main city, known as the Thundurian City. Their colors are red and gold. And he just drop kicked the table and his captain. Good job. That's about it. Yeah, that's gonna be it for today then. We can show off more uh, things later. And maybe someday I can put some gameplay up and just talk about things that have happened in my D&D &D campaigns so far. I got some funny stories to tell. But until then, see you guys another time.